Hey everyone, I'm going to open up the scroll compressor and show you the four protection devices that are incorporated into the scroll. The floating seal, the IPR, the TOD, and the motor protector itself. The first protection device I'm going to talk about is the TOD. It's uh, embedded into the top of the uh, fixed scroll. So what happens is if the, if the compressor reaches a temperature over 290 degrees it's going to trip this thermal operating disc so the, the discharge gas comes up the disc is tripped it routes it through the hole of the side of the fixed scroll and it dumps it inside of the compressor shell heats up the the motor protector that's embedded in the windings of the uh, the motor itself and trips the uh, the motor protector and shuts the uh, compressor off Next up is the uh, floating seal. This prevents the scroll compressor from running into a vacuum and damaging the motor. Um, how it actually works, it works off a pressure differential. So what happens is the scroll starts unloaded and once you turn the uh, compressor on, the uh, floating seal actually pops up and creates a, a seal in the top right here creates that seal so the compressor can actually start pumping from low to high so the the way that it uh, actually raises that seal is the discharge discharge pressure on the fixed scroll is routed through a small little hole here and the discharge gas comes through that hole right here and fills this void with hot discharge gas which pops that seal up and completes the seal against the top of that plate so if you ever are low on charge or run it in a vacuum the seal is actually going to drop because there's not enough differential pressure to keep that that the floating seal pushed up against the the top that's why you hear like a, a clanking when you're pumping the system down it's the floating seal not being held up against the top of the compressor and sometimes you'll get compressors that won't pump it's because the floating seal might be stuck stuck um, or damaged but uh, that's the floating seal two more to go here the I have the uh, IPR the internal pressure relief and that goes off from 375 to 400 in this particular model but that separates the high and low side so if the discharge pressure gets above 375 to 400 it trips it redirects the gas back inside the the motor and trips the motor protector just like the TOD does they, they work similar um, but that this one works off press, pressure TOD works off of uh, temperature so the only one I can't show you is the protector on the motor and that is attached to the windings it it will trip if the uh, amperage of the motor gets too high or temperature gets too high that trips but I hope you find this interesting it's pretty cool how these uh, Copeland scrolls operate thanks for watching